I'm Stavros, good morning and welcome and thanks for joining me today on my trip to Mondello Park to drive the Honda Civic Type R FK2 which as you know is the new model to my own which is the FN2 Civic Type R so I'm really looking forward to driving this new car today around Mondello and getting it up to a decent speed and unfortunately the weather is not too great today so we won't be getting up to high speeds but I can't wait to drive it, I just can't wait. It's 306 brake horsepower, which is 108 more than my own car. So it should be a nice drive. Let's get on our way to Mondello and check out this car. And here we have arrived at Mondello Park. I'm just here in the garage now at Mondello Park and we have the Honda Civic Type R FK2 looking fantastic in red and beside it we have an Honda S2000 1999 so the guys are just going to start up this car now take it out and it's time to get warmed up for those hot laps around Mondello I'm joined now by Ian Tolan from Universal Honda who's going to describe the colours of the Civic Type R FK2 we have here today. Ian, thanks for joining me today and oh, thanks for having me along too. Oh, you're very welcome, Stavros. So Ian, what colours have we got here today now? Uh, first up here on the left hand side is Championship White. Championship White, uh, okay. One of the original of the species uh, and probably the signature colour of Type R globally. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that was the, the colour that Honda launched it at the Geneva Motor Show. Great. Yeah. Right, yes. yeah. On the far side then we have uh, Milano Red, uh, also available in normal Civic 5-door hatchback, but one of the, one of the more popular colours in the range, looks quite good. Both of those are in the GT pack with the additional red lines around the uh, front spoilers and on the side skirting and on the rear. Uh, and then with obviously a, a host of extras on the inside as well over the standard model. Uh, we do have a couple of other colours outside. We have Brilliant Sporty Blue, yeah. which is the one that features in Slaney View in Wexford. They have that on display there for sale. Mm -hmm. And we have Polished Metal. Uh, and the Polished Metal is also a, a dark metallic grey and uh, a good looking car. Yeah. Good looking car. And it's also available in black. And here is a black one I spotted on Sloan Street in London uh, not so long ago. That's great, Ian. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Enjoy your day. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye.
So now it's time for us to take this Tyvar FK2 out for a spin. Yes. Uh, Stephen Kershaw is going to take me out here and then later on I'll be out myself. Can't wait. <laughs> Nearly 160 kilometers, Stephen. Was it? <laughs> Nearly 160. I have a target in mind. Let's see if you can do it. <laughs> second down on the straight one twenty one forty two one fifty two to the straight now we'll see how fast we can get it up to Here we go 120 130 140 150 155 once just over 160 kilometers <laughs> just over 160 kilometers an hour I think I need to cool down myself after that hot lap, Steve. <laughs> My pleasure. Yeah, that was fantastic. It's always nice to hop into a car with somebody that knows how to drive one. I don't know me now, we're in Yeah, I wouldn't be as fast as that now. Not a hope in hell. So Kieran, you're just torquing the wheel nuts here, yeah, just to check them. Uh, what what's the torque setting, Kieran? 120 newton meters. So that there. Sorry, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure those wheels stay on good and tight. 120 newton meters of torque. I'm joined here now by John Dunahoo, who is going to explain to us about Honda City Brake and what way it works. We're doing it here in a Honda Jazz, but the system is available in other Hondas, John. Is it? That's correct, yeah. Uh, we're sitting here in the Honda Jazz and all Honda Jazz models now come standard with the city brake function. In fact, all Hondas that are sold today come with city brake function. Uh, what it does is that uh, at speeds below uh, 28 kilometres an hour, 
um, while driving in a traffic condition if for some reason the car in front of you stops abruptly and you're not paying attention to the road ahead well then the car will automatically take over and take over the braking for you and stop and prevent you from hitting the car in front so we're just going to try and demonstrate this for you now uh, and we're going to drive at a, at a block uh, at a speed of about 15 or 20 kilometers an hour that's great john let's check out this jazz in action we have an object ahead of us john where the car will stop automatically so we'll get a shot of this and uh, john won't have his foot on the brake that's correct <laughs> that's correct yep. here we go the object is ahead of us there so off we go, so off we go. city brake by honda and we're not paying attention so the car <laughs> automatically stops that's very good so while I'm here at Mondello Park, Stephen Kershaw is in my own car and he's going to take me for a spin around Mondello. So we'll go flat out or as fast as we can around Mondello and see what the FN2 is capable of. So the guys are just spinning around the S2000 at the moment. Myself and Stephen Kershaw are taking out the FN2 now. So let's go. So Stephen, you're actually thinking of buying an FN2 yourself? That's right, it's always been on my bucket list of cars to own and there's been a few down the years but a uh, Type R anything hasn't been on it but this one is. Yeah. And I've been given the opportunity to take this one around the track and uh, yeah, well you gotta do it. <laughs> when it's been offered to you on a plate, you gotta take it. So we shall not spare this car. It is my car, so... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try and mine the tires. Uh, well, yeah, mind the tires. <laughs> Leave me with some bit of thread going back home. Yeah. So, Stephen, you've been driving the FK2 and now you're in the FN2. What do you think of them sound-wise? Sound-wise, I think this one sounds a little bit better, higher up the rev range than the yeah. newer one. Yeah. Um, it's a real sweet sound, especially when you're heading towards 8000. It's real good. Yeah. I have to say now, I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah. And we're just heading down the straight now. See, can we get it up past 144, which flashed up on the last time? 130, 134, 145! Oh, oh, you I've just flashed it up! <laughs> Alright, we'll give her a, a break. <laughs> one more kilometre now, that's all we got. One more just kilometer. one more. Stephen tried his best now, guys, he tried his best. I mean, as easy you know? as I can go the last corner and getting it right up to just about 8. Switching gear yeah. and yeah, I think I don't think there's a lot more in it. Yeah, uh, maybe if I was out and all my junk was out of the car as well, <laughs> fold in the wing mirrors, yeah. <laughs> all the usual, turn the aircon off, all that. Oh, that was very enjoyable now. Thanks, Stephen. No problem at all. Yeah. Loved it, enjoyed yeah. it. No point me to bringing it out. <laughs> I can't <laughs> drive like that, guys. And you do lessons here, Stephen, for Yeah, we drivers. do. We do loads of different things. There's, um, we do advanced driving courses. We do our supercar experience. We do the single-seater experience. And, of course, you can bring your own car down for track days where we have the likes of yourself doing tuition with you as well. So you can get the most out of your own car. And then we look after you when you get here. Oh, fantastic. It's not as rough and tumble as you may think. It is fairly, <laughs> it's fairly tame and it's fairly good, you know. Right. Well worth it. Must be very enjoyable for owners, so to bring their own cars in a safe environment and Absolutely, get them yeah. up to speed. Absolutely, yeah. And anyone that's coming down track days for the first time, we'll take them out in their um, race prepared Mazdas, show them what they need to be doing. And at any time during the day, they can come back to us and go, listen, I'm really struggling with such and such a corner. And we look after them then as yeah. well, you know, yeah. so. Um, yeah, we will be able to look after the lads that come down and we don't stand for any bad driving, we'll just out the gate, see you later. We don't have any of that, it's all fairly tame and we'll encourage people to push on, you know, away yeah. you go, try to get the most out of it. As long as you mind so the car last. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get your order in for an FN2 now, Steve. <laughs> yeah, I'd love one, I'd absolutely love them, they really are cracking cars. Great. I love them. Thanks so, Stephen for the thanks spin. A million. Yeah, thanks a million for the opportunity to drive it on track, yeah. No problem Much appreciated. at all. No Thank problem.
so here I am strapping in to the FK2 Type R. <laughs> wow, here we go. Yeah, well, watch the traffic yeah. then. And then the moment you're free, good to go. Yeah. Good to go, yeah. Right, on we go. Is this a warm up lap first? No, Six. this is straight out. <laughs> straight out, straight on it. So essentially, what you're looking for is yeah. you're breaking at the brake boards, yeah. dropping out the third for this. So yeah. pop her into third gear, up to the cone. Yeah. I'm, in four, I'm in too high again. Yeah, you're in going this. way too quick. <laughs> and in the wrong gear. And <laughs> so pop her down to third. <laughs> That's it, get her turned in, tight yeah. to the curve. Okay. Back on the throttle, and you're full throttle now all the way. Yeah. So the main references are the brake board and the cone beyond it. Right. So when you reach the brake board, you're going to brake, yeah. pop it down to third. Mm -hmm. So pop it into third gear. Third. When you reach the cone, turn in towards the curve. Yeah. And now you brake all the way out to the cone. Oh. That's it, get her turned in, tight to the curb, keep it in tight, don't get on the throttle too early. Yeah, yeah. Back on the throttle now, full on, foot to yeah. the floor, that's it. <laughs> Head straight for the brake board. Yeah. And when you get there, brake, pop it down to third again. And now yeah. you're heading wide, all the way to the cone, down brake a little bit more. Wide. Get the nose in now, tight to the curb yeah. in there. That's okay. it, in tighter, in tighter. Yeah. Full throttle oh. now, that's it. <laughs> oh, Ease off the throttle, tight to the curb in here on the right. Full throttle now, foot to the floor. Ah. And you're heading straight for the brake, and when you get there, brake and pop it down to third. That's it. Down Keep braking, brake a little bit more up to the yeah. cone. Okay. Get the nose in. Full throttle now, foot to the floor, and let it run wide. Yeah. That's it. And you're full on all the way. Up in the fourth. Full throttle. Yeah. Keep going. And when you reach this brake board, on the brake, good and hard. One fifty. One fifty. Brake more. Brake more. Brake yeah. way more. Brake way more. Get the nose in. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Full throttle now as we come out, foot to the floor, aim straight at the cone, yeah. ease off the throttle, head to the curb on the left, back on the throttle again, and you're full yeah. throttle all the way. That's it. Oh yeah! Head straight for the brake, and when you get there again, brake down to third. Yeah. Down to third. Turn it in, a little bit of throttle as you head for the curb, and now brake all the way out to the cone, go yeah. wide, real wide. Now get the nose in, tight to the curb in there on the right, and full throttle now. Foot to the floor. That's oh it. yeah, you can feel the That's extra it. bit of power Maybe there because I was in the right gear. There. Yeah, yeah. And then we're on the brake, pop it down to third, and again go wide all the way out to the cone. Now get the nose into the curve in here on the inside, oh, yeah. and when you get in there, full throttle up to the next one. That's it. Ease off the throttle, oh, wow, tight yeah. to the curve in here on the right, full throttle again, out wide to the grass, head straight for the brake, and then on the yeah. brake, good and hard. Down to third, brake more, brake more, brake way more, get the nose in. Full throttle all the way, foot to the floor, yeah. and that's it. Up in the fort, and full on, keep her going, keep her going. And then on the brake, good and hard, pop her down, pop her down, down the gear, yeah. that's it. And now turning quite sharp into the curb. You're too much, too much there, too much there, too much there, that's it. Too quick in, and you're just winding on lock. Get her turned in, then tight to the curb. Back on the throttle, that's it. Yeah. And full on all the way. Up in the fourth, that's it. And then brake, pop her down to third. Yeah. Turn it in, back on the throttle. And then brake all the way out to the cone, that's it. Get her turned in now, tight, 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 you're in too tight. You're in too quick. On the brake, pop her down to third, keep braking, brake harder, brake much harder, way harder. Get the nose in now, tight to the curb, in tight. Back on the throttle, that's it, perfect, that's yeah. it. Head straight for the cone, ease off, tight to the curb on the left, full throttle again, that's it. It's busy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and then full on, up in the fourth, that's it. Yeah. And then brake, pop her down to third, that's it. Get her turned in, back on the throttle. So we've just pulled in now to the pits. What a fantastic, that was absolutely fantastic. I'm sure <laughs> Stephen with a bit more tuition, I could, I could be less manic on it, I suppose. But that was absolutely incredible. But definitely Stephen, you can tell when once you're in the right gear, you come out yeah, you, of you the, feel, it feels of right the bend. You out, yeah, yeah you it just feels, you go feels out, better. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, yeah, that's the yeah. key. But uh, wow, that was brilliant. Lovely red and black steering wheel here and the interior red and black really looks nice. 
and the dashboard very nice tidy design and we have Honda's infotainment system here which is a very nice display here to play all your music your satellite navigation and the gear stick as well we have the short throw very short between the gears very nice feel to it and of course we have our plus R button now what this does is it sharpens up the throttle response stiffens the dampers by 30% and also weights up the steering wheel so it gives it nice steering feel when you're on a high-speed track oh, such a nice place to be and that's all I have time for you today from Mondello Park what a fantastic drive I had today in the Honda Civic Type R FK2 such a fantastic performing car 2 litre turbo 306 brake horsepower it really does perform fantastically and the Brembo brakes really do stop you with great performance and 0 to 62 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds and a top speed of 167 miles per hour and with loads of interior space and really spacious boot also so I really enjoyed my time here today and a huge thanks to Honda for having me today Slaney View Motors in Wexford thank you all very much and also Universal Honda so that is where I will leave you today thank you all very much for watching and I will talk to you again very soon cheers